welcome, welcome, welcome to Chilling with the Noobs, the podcast. It's your boy Keys. Trey. Oh. Alright. So, um, <laughs> nah, this this podcast right here um, is from us to you guys. We want y'all to be able to get a good look into our lives. You know what I'm saying? Real up close and personal. And yeah, we're gonna talk about some serious topics, some fun topics. You know what I'm saying? Give you a little insight about us and what we do. Yeah, man. I'm just excited to be here. You know what I'm saying? With the bros, it's going to be a great opportunity for us to share our experiences with y'all and grow together as a Hampton family. Y'all ready to get into it? Let's get into Let's it, really. brother. All right. So the first thing we're going to talk about is why we're doing this podcast. You know, um, oftentimes you might not see a fraternity have a podcast or whatnot. This is something that's relatively different to do, you know, for a chapter for of a fraternity, but um, we see that it was something that we wanted to do because when it comes to our line, when it comes to our chapter, we have a whole bunch of personalities, and we feel like we don't want the world to miss out on what we have to offer. We all start team. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. We want we want y'all to get a glimpse of our personalities. We want y'all to go throughout this journey of college life and whatnot with us. You know what I'm saying? Okay, how you feeling? I'm feeling good, bro. Just to second what you said, um, we want to give an insight as far as like cap, as far as being black men, as far as being black men in the fraternity. I just give y'all like some some insight from our from our lens and also debunk some things and talk about some things that you guys want to want to know. So we're here for you and we want to get right into it. All right, so I know y'all see us in the crib right now. We chilling, talking to y'all. Shout out to the Red Lounge. Shout out to the Red Lounge. OD, you see it. Can you see it? You know where it's at. Y'all see that painting in the back? Well, you've been here before. Come on, <laughs> y'all know, y'all know if this you shit. have it, you will. <laughs> Sincerely. <laughs> um, but yeah, you see us chilling in the crib right now, but we're not only going to be chilling in the crib. Um, chilling with the news. You are chilling with the news. But we're going to be doing a few different segments as well. Um, you might see us at uh, a four to six or at a uh, outdoor function, just recording, doing interviews and whatnot. Like this is an experience that we want to bring to Hamptons campus, and it's something that's unprecedented. Like folks don't be out here making podcasts and really doing everything that we're doing right now. It's a new age. It is. So oh, yeah. I want to say this. Yo, I was like, yo, please stop giving these people like podcasts and like cameras because they just come on here and talk about anything. And here I am with the podcast and camera. Talking about anything. <laughs> Talking about anything. <laughs> so I'm I'm big. And it's so crazy. it's like the roles reverse, but you know, we're really gonna get into some some stuff here. So like just just you know, just be aware. Um, and at the same time, I think what it is, is it depends on who's talking. Like it's yeah. some folks out here that you really we just don't care for your opinion on anything. If that makes sense. Like, yes. Yeah. We don't we don't care. Just yeah. loud and wrong with the camera. Loud and, and live. Yeah. And followers, you, you look crazy as well. But um, I think what's different with us is that um, we're really here to kind of talk about things that people ask us about anyway. Like you know what I'm saying? When you're when you're black, you go to HBCU, you're in a fraternity. People seem to ask you a lot of things. People have certain uh, preconceived notions about you and whatnot, about what you might think and what your opinions might be. So we're really just here to just talk about all of that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, real transparent, real candid. Uh, yeah. Here we go. Yo, what's going on, y'all? This is Trey, Live Five. Um, we are the Beta Kai Noobs. We're going to introduce ourselves real quick, but we are the Monsters by the Sea. Um, a lot of history with this chapter, Ooh. man. We're looking forward to for y'all to get to know us and for y'all to see what we got going on at Hampton University. My man next to me. It's your boy Keith. Um, you know, Marquis Smalls. Some of y'all may know me. Others. Not yet. Um, <laughs> but yeah, nah, 12 Club here. Um, you know, just to make it happen, you feel me? Um, nah, but like, like Trey was saying, um, Beta Kai, BX, you know what I'm saying? One of the best chapters you, you'll ever see. What makes, what makes us the best? I mean... Achievement in every field. Sto- story and history is one before we even got here. Yeah. And, we even, and then once we got here, it got bad. Like, like built on it's that over. Shit. Yeah, it's so, over. So, shout out 8-Ball. So over. Yeah, so <laughs> um, But now, nah, like, when, when you talk about Cap Off Facade, we talk about achievement. Um, I feel like when it comes to our chapter, 
we are the epitome of that. When it comes to achievement, the, the, the brothers on my left and my right, literally achievement. Like, like what can't they do? You, you'll see them in social settings, thriving. You'll see them in professional settings. So let me ask you this. Right. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Like, just, just, Trey's very humble. Like, let's yeah, just, let's, like, Keith, you're very humble. Like, let's talk about, like, who we are, like, you know, what we're involved in. So, like, you can actually, like, show, like, hey, I'm talking about it, but here's the results. So, like, it should going. be, like, a quick fire, like, like. So, Trey had a billboard um, on Times Square. Um, so, you can pop up. That just speaks for itself. I mean, I don't know what else to say about that. But hey, tell he's us also about, been to the White House. Yeah, tell us about what you do. I mean, he has he has a rap sheet. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You list. can't even say everything. Like, you know, <laughs> I mean, forget. Pick man. the best twenty things. Twenty things. <laughs> um, <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, top hundred. Right. At the end of the day, just just letting my art kind of shine through and everything that I do. So that goes with you know working with Target, you know doing these different HBC programs with AT and T, Disney, the White House. Um, and throwing all that love back to the chapter, back to the university, so we keep that momentum going. But yeah, this line is full of superheroes, bro. Like, we got work, uh, worldwide DJs, um, bros that literally just tap in in every realm of human achievement, and that's what really gives us that, that force as we move on Hampton University. So, yeah, bro, it's like, it's all rap sheet. No, that's a fact. It's all rap sheet. But like, yeah, flex. DJ, OD, everywhere, worldwide. Ryan got a TV show. Mr. Ryan Mr. is definitely in a Netflix show. Yeah, OD, you know what I'm saying? Mr. Men's Club. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. On campus, I'm very involved. I will say that much, like. Director Keys. Yeah, too involved, I'm not gonna lie. Um, too involved. I'm very busy, like, yeah. stressed, like. Yeah, <laughs> Men's Club is directed, SLP co-facilitator, um, Mr. American Marketing Association. Uh, the list really goes on, but at the end of the day, I'm a real one. <laughs> OD. That's, 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 that's the main thing. <laughs> that's what it boils down yeah, to. You're <laughs> supposed to do anything they want to do when you're on campus involvement. If you're not a real one, it, it, it don't matter. It just negates all of that. You get what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, oh, talk to me. Like, business with it. Uh, 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 that would be good. Trey didn't even state he was the pole mark. Yeah. Which is synonymous with president for those of you who don't know. I'm vice pole mark. Boss me. Um, my president. Nothing. Business base president. Five year MBA guy. I mean, you know, we're, we're really humble and really like, we really take like our motto and like fulfill it. Okay. Oh, yeah. I really show it, so like achieving every field of human endeavor. And, like we're really multifaceted. So it's like you got bros who doing this, you got bros who doing that, you got bros who doing something like XYZ. And it really shows, you know, how many like directions we can really go. And not only are we going that direction, but we're going far. We're pushing past our limits. Um, so I'm excited for this podcast. I'm excited for the brothers and the guests who doing it. Come talk to y'all, let game with y'all. And I'm just excited to, to, to do this. Yeah. And I wanna to touch on what you said, like the fact that you have a group of people come together with all these different superpowers, you can really form something great. And I think that's why people be like, why, why are you trying to be Greek? Why are you trying to do this, that, and the third? You gotta look back to, to the foundation of it and what you can do when you combine your collective strengths. So that's all that we're trying to demonstrate with Beta Chi, with the Monster by the Sea, and that's shown through the various projects that we've gone through our campus so this podcast is a way for us to share more information about that just let y'all know what we got going on so so what are, what are we going to be talking about like in the, in the yeah from us the content yeah yeah so you know like i said um it's a podcast um for y'all the viewers once i get a, a, some insight on what we do how we think about things um and before we even get into the the next topics that y'all can look forward to um i know like it's a few people like types of people in this world you know what I'm saying? It's the folks that kind of make make things happen, folks that watch things happen, and folks that don't know what's happening, right? Um, Mr. Big Guy. You feel what I'm saying? So, what I would say to that is, I know some of y'all are gonna be like, they out here making a podcast that's corny, like, why are they doing that? But they're also watching. Nobody cares. Watching. Sitting on the side, right? <laughs> on the side, on the side, on the side, right? Mm-hmm. But now, think about it, like, like, you can be real with yourself, like, you wish, you could have done something like this. Like, 
Honestly, you can do something like this. This yeah. is awesome motivation. So like, so as can. I feel like as black people at like HBC especially, we be thinking we in competition with each other, and we look at are when it comes to the professional world and whatnot. But at the same time, it's okay to support people. Mm-hmm. It's you all know what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, like if if I like a podcast, I'm gonna watch that podcast. I'm gonna support that podcast. Like the people who are doing it, like you know what I'm saying. Like it's never no animosity, nothing like that. So, um, segue in to the topics that we're gonna talk about. All right, y'all. Well, we back. Not gonna lie, um, the mics was never recording, so. Yeah, that's on me. You know what I'm saying first episodes, um, things happen, hiccup, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hic- hiccups happen. Hey, but we back. But, you know what I'm saying? And I sound good now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. hey, camera got a mic too, so y'all gonna hear that for a minute. Um, but now we hear. We for should a, be loud and clear now. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Um, but Trey, so tell me uh about what the folks can really look forward to yeah. in terms of the topics we're gonna talk about. Heard you. So chilling with the Noobs podcast, we got a lot of. Great content on the way for y'all. We're going to do debunking HBCU myths because it's a lot of those circulating. Yep. We got Greek life stereotypes. Heard everyone there is. And then relationships and being Greek. Eesh. I would not be present for that podcast. But <laughs> my brothers will be here to inform you all. So, you know you I don't know. I might be here. I'm, yeah, just, I'm just chatting. Facts. Um, but also, like, don't, don't even think we just don't only talk about Greek stuff as well. Like... We might come up here and talk about the new Drake album that he's doing drop in the future, hopefully. Um, or I might tell you why I think Fetty Wap is in my top five. Um, but yeah, like we, we might talk about all time. All time for me. Mind your business. All time. Future for me. discussion. For me. For me. Um, yeah, but like we all go talk about maybe sports, feel me? Like NBA playoffs, finals, like, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, like, we're, we're some guys who have a lot of diverse interests. So, if this is our podcast, we're going to talk about what's going on in life. And we love the people, too. So, if y'all got specific topics or questions that y'all want to answer to look at, be sure to submit those and we might cover them. That's a fact. That's a fact. We're going to talk about God Family Books Cap. Um, yeah, so, um, once again, um, we hope, I know this is something that y'all been waiting for, because y'all know it's gonna happen, um, but now that y'all know it's coming, um, and it's here, um, we love for y'all to support us, you know, throughout this journey of us starting the podcast, um, if you go to Hampton, and you, you see us on the podcast, hopefully this gives you guys a glimpse of our personality, shows you that we're very personable, you feel me, friendly guys, like, Never to look too intimidating, even him. Um, I know you might see him walking around campus looking like the Hulk, but, um, you know, he's a cool guy as well. You know, he, he smiles sometimes. You know, he's, he's a nice guy. You know? Yeah. 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 I would say I am approachable. I get this, like, but I, you know what I mean? But don't, nah, I'm not going to say that. Like, I'm approachable. Like, a lot of people say, like, I look mean. I just have like this serious face like all the time, which I probably do. But I'm not like a mean guy. I just don't like to talk all the time. However, I'm talking on a podcast, so it's like really like very ironic here. <laughs> like like I said earlier, really, like I abolished all podcasts, and now I'm talking on a podcast. Because who gives these guys like mics and, and cameras? And next thing you know, we have a mic and camera. So it's what are we doing? <laughs> we chilling with the news. We chilling, chilling with the news. With the news. <laughs> we cool it. This is fun. Yeah, like even Trey. You know what I'm saying? Like Trey B. Trey a nice guy, I think. Yeah, bro. bro. Trey wakes up. Well, no, he doesn't even go to sleep. <laughs> bro, the way my schedule is set up, bro. Like I break down every single day by the hour, and then like. I'll come home at like 8 o'clock at night, sleep till like 2 a.m. I go to sleep, 8 p.m., wake up, 1 a.m., do work, and then find naps in between that until it's time to go to class. Um, but that's the type of time like, I gotta be on because of like how involved I am on campus, but I love it, and I can be everywhere and do everything at the same time. And, and people just be like, Trey, you gonna burn out? But I'm like, nah, I'm just energized, so yeah. yeah. And that, and the, yeah, the thing about Trey is like, 
while like he's involved on campus like me too you know I'm, I'm very involved on campus but trey is like involved like in life it, you know what i'm saying like it was, it was a point in time when like you couldn't like turn on your tv and watch like power without seeing his commercial like on tv like, this is beginning man this ain't nothing Man, the, the, the humility is, uh, nah. You can brag a little bit when when you a certain type of tough. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's okay to to boast a bit. You get what I'm saying? Cause like the working man, that's what it is. You know, like, Od, like, cause he's gonna. Hey man, it's the work ethic, and this is who I, what I do. It's facts. I'm like, bro. Nobody's more accomplished than this. 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 My pull mark. Sincerely, and you know what I mean, still warming up. And I have a lot, bro. We have a lot, like, of like heavy hitters on his lines. So, like, right now, I'm boasting him because he's just on the podcast. But like, once we get these other brothers on here and other like guests and like older guys, like, you'll really see like what we talking about. It's a lot of like motion. Like, people use motion like as like strictly like moves and like party. But like, that's not motion for real. What's motion? Bro, like being set, like being good, like in life, like, yeah, like you can be the guy that, you know, to have parties and, you know, do all this, but like, are you gonna be good after college, you feel me? What are you doing after you walk that stair, that, that stage? I think to me that's motion. Facts. Speaking of heavy oh, involvement, Trey got a slide cause I gotta record some stuff for Hampton University Alumni Association. Uh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. So catch me on the retool your school commercial thing. They want to another one. Over, so another one. End of that. But yeah. Hello, the noobs. Hey, man. <clears throat> um. Why do you just? Who Who knows? <laughs> yeah, that was. Who knows? <laughs> who knows? But hey, listen, y'all. Um, before before we um wrap this one up, I'm gonna scoot over a little bit. <clears throat> Before, before we wrap this one up, um, I want to end on like a little interesting note. You feel me, Oak? Let's do it. Like, like I feel like we on we here. We don't talk about the business and, and, and what they can expect and whatnot. But I want to want them to hear about like some of our personal feelings about things. So, like, do you have any like unpopular opinions that that you want to share real quick? Are we getting deep or like nah? No, no deep. Hampton wise, life wise. It could be Hampton though. I'm gonna do Hampton because people know me and they know I'm about to go. The calf is not bad eats. Mm. Ever? I didn't say ever. There's definitely some some harsh times. <laughs> harsh times. However, it's not bad eats. You think you think they stepped it up this year? A thousand percent. A thousand percent. Bro, chicken Mondays. <laughs> Like wings, right? Yeah. Okay, word. Uh, food truck Tuesdays, Wednesday. I don't know. They have like some Chipotle or something. Thursday, you got fried chicken. Friday, like seafood boil. Like, what are we Whoa, doing? Oh, is that is that a consistent Friday seafood boil? Every Friday. You know, you got your shrimp, you got your sauce, calf. you got your corn, you got potatoes, you got your eggs. Every I don't, Friday. I don't. I don't got a meal plan, so. If but you, you go. If you see me in the calf, I shouldn't be in there. If you see me, you didn't see me. Um. Yeah, that's a actually that's, that's a good. What's, what's, what, what's yours, bro? I don't, I don't. I have a lot actually. I'm not gonna even nah, say I don't got enough. Forty minutes. Yeah, nah. I mean, Minimum. first one that like comes up to my head is probably like my whole like Spotify Apple Music thing. Like, if you have Apple Music, like I'm, we're done here. You know what I'm saying? Like, um, people that can can realize why Spotify is is superior. Um, you know, we just we just get it. You feel what I'm saying? So like, that's what's one unpopular opinion I have. Um, also, ranch is the best sauce. Ranch is crazy. Like, just ranch is yeah, just nah, cancellation. <laughs> ranch and and hot sauce is literally like the two things that keep me. Like, if I have a slice of pizza, ranch is going on there. Okay. And then hot sauce is going on there. Sincerely, I do that too. Good. And it's ranch is what's what's topping ranch? What's what's more? Multifaceted than a ranch. How's us? How? How not? Ranch. Ranch is going on chicken. 
So is hot sauce. Ranch is going on salad. So is hot sauce. Who is putting hot sauce on their salad? Well, you have like who sir, you have like hot dressing on no like, hot salad. sauce. I'm talking about like hot me. Sauce. You don't do that. Oh, I've, like you're like, you're saying stuff at this point. Like no, yes. I put hot sauce. Do I do it all the time? No, but I have put hot sauce on the salad. You dip vegetables in the ranch. You can mix with hot sauce. Listen, I already said ranch hot sauce is top two. So I said hot sauce tops ranch. So. Ranch is just one of them ones. When you stop ranch, you ever had it? Yeah. Let's talk about it. But um, Outback Ranch, Outback Wings, fried chicken wings. What? Outback Steakhouse fried chicken. Did yeah. we not have those for Super Bowl? You talking about the um? And were they not crazy? What they called though? They call some. Uh, uh, I don't know. It's like some some Australian like, some, like Australian, Australian wacky and, wings or something. Yeah, it's something crazy. But like, it's like. <laughs> Bro, Super Bowl, Super Bowl nah, they that, had like that, 57 wings for that, $57. Needed them. Wait, what? I yeah, that's out. why I got all those wings. It was 57 beans. You got some more? Yeah, it was only for Super Bowl. That was like a one day. Probably. Wilding out. Wilding out. Welling. Boy, you welling, boy. <laughs> boy what? Who has the worst lingo? Who do you think has the worst lingo? What you mean by that? Like, like, like region, re- region wise? wise? Yeah. Worst lingo? Like, I'm going to go. Like I'm not gonna lie, a lot of folks don't even have lingo. Just Boston. They just got accents. He's from Boston. Boston definitely has lingo. Like what? What are you guys like known for? Or what do you think like has started in Boston is now like transpired? Mm. I don't know know about transpired. I mean, nothing has started in in here that's transpired. So let's not do that. You literally say my lingo all the time. Yeah, because I go to school where where you live. If you went to school in Boston. You would be exactly no. You know yes. No. 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 Bro, no. what, bro? Just because if you go anywhere that's not Virginia, you're not gonna hear folks talking like they're from Virginia, or folks. Bro, half of the people in Hampton are not from Virginia, so your argument is va- in- invalid. And, and they're and they talking like they're in Virginia. No, that's your point. You're saying you go here and people talk like here, and I'm saying no, they're not. So when you talk to me, yeah, you hear that, and then you go out and transpire. But I'm saying that hasn't transpired. Yes, has. Other what? How? What has? Give me like a Wellin? Boy, no one says Wellin outside of here. Okay. 